Hi everyone, welcome to Cash Walks. We're at our local beach, Cast Bay, and we're off to do an adventure lab. To start the adventure lab, we're going up onto an ancient past site you can see behind us. But before we go, we're going past something that's hidden in plain sight. A lot of people coming down to the beach don't see it, and it's not a geocache. <laughs> Come with us. Kids are enjoying the beach. Yeah, lots of people down here today in the sunshine. Yeah, it's lovely. Can you see what people go past and miss yes. in plain sight there, Lynn? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't sort of stick out. No, it doesn't. Easy to miss it. It's a World War II pillbox. So a machine gun uh, post here protecting the beach. <laughs> wow. Apparently there are 118 of them around the coastline. Okay. Sometime after World War II, the owner of the house that's just up behind me here um, asked the council to block off the gun ports with bricks and the entranceway because people were dropping litter in here and it was starting to become a bit of a fire hazard and a bit unpleasant inside. But it still survived, which is great to see it here. The Home Guard had a variety of machine guns to use here. During World War II, the beaches along this coast had barbed wire entanglements right along their length. I remember my mother saying that at Takapuna there was a little path through so you could still go swimming. We're just going up the pa to Rahopara Pa, the ancient pa site. It's nice up here and it's a nice walk on a lovely sunny day. A little bit steep this part. It is steep this part. <laughs> Good for our fitness though. I get quite tired coming up this bit. Yeah. There was a fortified Maori village here, possibly as early as the 1400s. Wow, well, looks like a great lookout, Lynn. Oh, it's great. Mm. What a beautiful view. What a perfect day for it. Yep. We like it up here, don't we? Yes. Going back in history for the ultimate home guard, a brief walk down the coast will take you to the Par site. Beautiful view from this location across to Rangitoto, yes. It is, yeah. We've just been looking at that. Excluding the big main ones, how many sticks make up the fence at the point of the reserve? Okay, well, we better have a look. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 3, 4. Do you think that's wise, sir? <laughs> it comes from Dad's army. Yeah. Oh, that's very cool. It is cool. On to the next one. These stairs are well made, aren't they? Yeah. About 270 metres to go. Woohoo! Got a big slip down here. Goodness me. Oh. Amazing, eh? Nice you down to the beach, though. Eh? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at the rocks under the uh, the water. Yeah, lovely. Okay, let's move on. The aeroplane noise there. I wonder if the mics are picking them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice day for a flight. Hey, get a good view. Yeah. Right into Kennedy Park. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> we filmed here before, remember? We have another cash walk. Yes. When we were getting the traditionals uh, that are in the park here. Yeah, that was one of our first ones. Yeah, how far to the um, next point? Next 130. Point. Oh, 120. 120. Yep. 
Okay, where are we heading to? Let's go here. The engine room. The engine room. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the engine room for um, the searchlights. Okay. Probably. Go right down the other end. Guess. We'll find out when we get down here. Hmm. Big rooms here. Oh, oh. look, here's a signpost. Okay. What does the information bark say? Power on tap. The engine room housed three Southern Cross 42 BHP generators that provided power to the camp and the searchlights on the cliff face below. Okay, so it was for the searchlights, but also for the camp that was here. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, all the equipment's gone, but you can see where it was. Mm. I think you can hear my voice echoing. Yeah, you can. Can you? Yep. Hello? Ooh, ooh. Hello? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> now, the question is, how, how much power did each searchlight consume? Okay, let's have a look and see. We're doomed, doomed. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Okay, the next one is frying pan gun emplacements. Okay, let's right. head off. How far? Uh, 90 metres. Let's go. Oh, I can see the gun emplacements up on the hill there. Yes. Yeah, the gun emplacements. Wow, quite big, aren't they? Yeah. Very impressive. Here we are, in the centre there. That's where the bolts were for the big gun. Big six inch gun here. Heavy batteries at our coastal defence positions. About this adventure. These Emplacements were completed in 1941 and housed six inch breech loading naval guns. They were hidden under false roofs and canvas panels to make them look like holiday homes. <laughs> Very <laughs> yeah, they were removed in 1951 and sold for scrap. Yeah. You need to enter both the emplacements and count items to answer the question. One, two, three, four, five. Yay, don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always panicked, didn't he? He sure did. Well, he said he wasn't panicking, but he was. He was, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're done three. Off to the fourth one called Dedication. Let's go. Okay, hidden in plain sight. That's our favorite type of geocache. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so these look quite cool, don't they? Made they to look like houses. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently it was the only um, military uh, installation that was made to look like a suburb, like oh, a seaside yeah. su suburb. What, in New Zealand? Yeah, as far as I know. Hmm. Yeah. Cool, eh? Very cool. Okay, let's move on. Okay, okay how far now, Lynn? 18 metres. 18 metres. Really okay. there. Cool. This will be up here, I would think. Oh, a big piece of metal panel. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Dedicated to the men and women who served in the defence of New Zealand, especially those of the 63rd Battery. Okay, cool. Now that was for one here. Heavy yeah. Coastal Regiment. Okay, just put in the name of the person who um, designed this memorial. Mm -hmm. Yay. Bling. I'll tell Mum. <laughs> okay, we've got that one, let's go. Okay, we're just coming up to this uh, place that looks like a, a house. Or, uh, it doesn't really look like a house. It uh, was designed to make it look like a seaside kiosk, where they might sell ice cream or something like that. You see the row of windows along the top? It's actually an observation post. So it was where they looked out to control the guns. Quite cool that it's still here, don't you think? It is. Yeah. It's very cool. Whoops! <laughs> Going in the wrong direction. It's this okay. way. Over there. <laughs> Not paying enough attention to the uh, to the screen. Yeah, looking at a nice uh, <laughs> kiosk. Yes. <laughs> Grass looks a bit different here, Lynn. On the map, that's um, 
where the reservoir was meant to be. Yes, very different now. Yeah, apparently it was made to look like a tennis court. Oh, okay. So, a Japanese plane came over. It would fit in with the uh, housing development here. Right. You know, the seaside suburb. Bit of recreation area. Yeah, well, that's what the, they'd hope the pilots would think. Yes. Hmm. How far now? 50 metres. 50 metres? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's... That must be the top of the stairs. The stairs of doom. Yeah. <laughs> Locals call it the, call them the stairs of doom. Because there's what, 120 steps down yes. to the beach, down yeah. the cliff. It's and okay, it's not, not too bad going down, but it's pretty bad coming up. Yeah, it's used a lot as a fitness um, place, isn't it? Oh yes, they're really keen. Yeah. But they run up and down several times. Yeah. Hard, hard work. I find it hard just walking up and down, let alone running up and down. Yep. It. All right. Now this one, venture down onto the beach and in either direction there is an outpost perch precariously on the cliff. You will need to visit both to answer the question. Okay, good. Well, it's down the stairs of doom then. Yes. Let's go. Wow, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, it's great. It's neat seeing the rocks okay. under the water. Let's go over to the stairs of doom. <laughs> <laughs> now they go down to the beach, down to the seashore, all 120 steps. Long way down. It is. Lovely view though. It's magnificent. See Rangitoto in the distance, the volcano? Yeah. It's neat. Yeah, how was that? Good. <laughs> Not too bad coming down, is it? It's fine coming down. Going up is going to be the hard bit. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful down here. Didn't get down as fast as I did though. <laughs> the old World War II stairs down to the searchlight emplacements have gone and now a modern set of stairs come down near it. A few years ago the stairs collapsed in a landslide and had to be repaired. The searchlight emplacements won't be here for much longer as the soft sandstone and mudstone of the cliff is eroding. People are here for fitness runs at all times of the day. Let's head along to the next waypoint. How far have we got to go now, Lynn? Uh, we've got 60, just over 60 metres. Oh, good. Nearly there. So it's not the first um, searchlight emplacement no. that we come to. No, not the one Heading down over by to the, the steps. second one. It is. Okay. Oh, good. It's good though because it takes you to the other one. You wouldn't may not see it otherwise. Yeah. I can see it. If you don't what do we have to do? How many steel girders can you see holding the outposts up? Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Alright, that should be easy enough. Yeah, let's see. 
Oh, look, goodness. Hey, they're nice big ones, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, nice big ones. Wow. Yeah, sure are. Well done. Do you want some? It's good feed. Is that a cut for you? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Oops. Yeah. I don't think I've eaten them before. You have, haven't you? Yeah, I've eaten them up <laughs> off um, yeah. here in Chicks. That is good size. Oh, that's the rabbit. Oh, See wow. there? Mm -hmm. Is that what you eat? Yep. Yeah, the orange one. This is an uh, orange one. Okay, I'll give it a go. Yeah. There's quite a bit there, isn't there? Oh, yummy. Oh, thank you. There's a creamy one. <laughs> That's quite nice. Yeah, it's an unusual taste, <laughs> oh, isn't it? Yes. No, I like that. Oh, I should have tried it years ago when I had the opportunity to. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. No right, thank you. Wow. Mmm. Want some more? Tasty, right? Oh, mm. yes, please. Quite sweet, salty, but like oysters and the saltiness. Yeah, isn't it does. It? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Brands in lines. Mm -hmm. here. Look at the uh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Isn't it great that you can do this, you know, locally and, and yep. still have the opportunity to. Mm -hmm. to... Oh, thank you. Spanish one. Huh. You better have some. <laughs> yeah. Can I have a one? Yeah. Have a little bit of half, thanks. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it's very nice of you, thank you. Let's head on to see the other searchlight emplacement. Okay, this is the last answer. So let's say we got that one right and then we've got it all done. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <gasps> Submit. Who do you think you're kidding, Mr. Hitler? <laughs> Dad's army, excellent. Yeah. No, it's perfect down here. It's a lovely walk. Yep. Good adventure lab. Look, someone's climbing down. Could we film you getting down? Yeah, sure. oh, oh, thanks. You climb up there often? Yeah, well, it is a nice here. Oh great, thanks. <laughs> What's your name? Crystal. 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 Ah, Crystal. Well that brings us to the end of our cash walk. We hope you enjoyed uh, Kennedy Park and the World War II fortifications and we were lucky enough to meet two nice people along the way. They were. Yeah and we got to try Kenna. Yes and it was lovely. Yeah it was good, good mm. trying that. Yep. Anyway mm. thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button and go geocaching. <laughs>